Hey guys, it's me, Indiana Jones. Let's go shopping in our own homes and see what we can do to get ready for fall. So you heard me right. Yes, shop our own homes for this episode. That's right. I'm just going to look around, see what I already have at home. For example, this little ditty I bought at a garage sale for a dollar. And I thought it was hideous. But I also thought it had a lot of potential. I mean, let's start with the color. It's, again, hideous. Just hideous. I don't know if it's rust or if it's painted that way. I really don't know. And then it has that Cherish, but it's using the same letters from Cheerios. So I feel like I should, like, pack that with Cheerios. That, you know, that might not be a bad idea, you know? Just have a beautiful little, hey, that's not a bad idea. Have a little thing next to your bed with Cheerios that makes it look pretty. But um, it wouldn't stay fresh. But still, I mean, it looks horrible. So what I'm doing next is I'm just using some alcohol to clean off. You know, I thought I thought I could use alcohol. I was afraid of using nail polish remover for some strange, bizarre reason. Then I said, let me just go for Goo Gone. Goo 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 I don't know. You know what it is. And here I'm just chiseling it away. Chiseling away. Maybe I should have used a plastic uh, spatula thingy. But hey, it worked. Just scrape it away. Scrape, 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 scrape. I'm going to make you watch all of this. But look, my nails look nice. Again, I painted my nails. It's so funny because I always paint my nails before each new video. And by the end of the video, they just look ratchet. So, you know, I pretty much have to paint my nails before every video. So that's like twice a week, possibly. But anyway, here I go. Continue with the goof off. Try to make this short. So I went ahead and sped up the last video just a little bit so you wouldn't suffer watching me take all those letters off. Now here I'm putting on some folk art antique gold. I thought antique gold would work. I go through several colors. With I guess it was just such a hideous color. I had to like do different like layers of color and then I thought antique gold would look nice because I wanted to match it with a little crown on top. But you'll see what I'm talking about. And then I said, well, I don't know. It's not that shabby chic. But here I go, just painting away. Paint, 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 paint. I'll also speed this up so you don't have to suffer watching me paint this whole thing. So after I painted the whole thing antique gold, I decided to go over it with a little bit of white because I thought that would make it look more shabby chic. I don't know. It looks kind of shabby to me. Not sure about the chic part, but... You know, we're trying. I think it looks cool. I think it looks, I mean, a heck of a lot better than when I bought it. And considering it was only a dollar, why am I complaining? And I had it sitting around, you know, in my stash of stuff that I buy or find. And, uh, oh, I found something really cool. You've got to watch at the end of this video. Wait until you see what I found in the garbage across the street from me um, right before I started filming this video. And yes, I raided my neighbor's garage. She was cleaning out her garage and I was like, do you need this? Hey, do you need this? You want to get rid of this? You know, but you know, ironically, I didn't use any of those items in this video, but I will probably be using it in other videos. I was so lucky to be able to remove that glass top from this item and made it so much easier just to paint it. And now here I am just securing it back into the top of this little jewelry box and I really am going to like this. I might go over another shade of white or cream uh, just to make it look nicer but I think it looks so much better than the original with that red rust color and look how nice it matches now with the crown. Yeah I might just keep it just as it is. I might touch it up a little bit but so much better. Can I tell you how lucky I am to have these ladies as friends of mine here on YouTube? That's right. All these lovely ladies are incredible crafters and creators. And we're collaborating today on this Shop Your House collaboration. That's right. Instead of going out and getting more stuff to work on, just shop your own house. I bet you have stuff that you need to work on and make it better and improve it and upcycle it. So just take a moment and look around and see what you got. And this is a really special collaboration because it's part of a giveaway. That's right. I'm going to be asking you a question throughout the video. 
and I want to see what your answer will be. So remember, you've got to check each person's channel out and check out their videos as part of this collaboration and answer the questions that they're asking you in each video. So listen carefully to see what my question will be for you. So here I'm going to upcycle a Dollar Tree tray that I had created in the past. And here I'm having a difficult time choosing the color black. There's like black, there's like real black, licorice black. I'm like, what, what really is, are there that many different shades of black? I hadn't noticed, but I, I suppose there is. So I'm going to upcycle this for the fall because I really haven't used it. I used it for a little while in my kitchen and then I changed it up. So I guess that's when I had my French country kitchen look. So here I'm, I'm painting it black, just like, you know, the Rolling Stones sing that song. I just want to paint it black. I mean, I know that's not the song, but you know what I'm talking about. So yep, just paint it black. That's what you can do for a lot of stuff that you have in your house, especially for like Halloween and fall. For some reason, if you paint something black that you've had like farmhouse and stuff and you're sick of it, just paint it black. Just get some paint, paint black, spray paint, whatever. And it already like gives it some kind of like dark, comfy fall vibes. I don't know. I like, I like the, I don't like the color black to wear. I don't know why I have this thing with wearing black. I have very few black dresses, believe it or not. Um, I'm more colorful. That's why I like cottage core so much. But anyway, back to painting it black. Now, I got this beautiful pumpkin graphics off of the graphics fairy. Guys, please go to the graphics fairies. She has the most beautiful, um, you know, graphics available and they're free. You can get like some, print, you know, more special graphics, I guess, if you want to pay. But I mean, the stuff she has for free is just so beautiful. So here I am using Mod Podge for all your decoupage needs. That's right. Mod Podge. And I'm just going to add it to the frame. Look how easy this is. Is this easy? Gosh, this is so easy. Bam! pa -bang! We got pumpkin. Look at that pump. That is the most elegant pumpkin. I'm telling you. I love this vintage vibe. I really love it. I am going to incorporate four different aesthetics into my home this fall and Halloween season. It's shabby chic or glitz and cottage core vintage like this and a little bit of dark academia or goth. So check out my previous video from this one so you can understand a little more as to what's going to be going on on my channel every Wednesday. So here I am just, you know, slapping on some Mod Podge just to make this perfect. It's good to put on Mod Podge on top of your projects just to seal it in. And it turns out so nice. Now, one of my co-hosts, Mary, Mary's kind of crafty. She had a giveaway on her channel and I actually won. And this was one of the lovely little items that I won, this beautiful little blue truck. And I love little blue trucks more than the red trucks. So I was so incredibly happy. Now, I changed it up in Christmas in July for Christmas on one side, but now on the other side, I'm going to change it up for fall. And all I'm doing is taking these little Pumpkin picks? Oh my gosh, I love that. Pumpkin picks. Pumpkin picks. Pumpkin picks. Everybody's got to get pumpkin picks. Anyway, I took these little pumpkin picks and they're all white and I usually buy them in white so that I can paint them whatever color I want. See? So I'm, I'm choosing different, you know, like golden, like a golden color and then like the orange pumpkin color, of course, and of course a grayish blue. And I'm going to now add another item from Graphics Fairy. They had these beautiful little pumpkin signs. So I had to cut one out so that it would fit in the little door. So it would look like it was coming from a pumpkin farm. And uh, it said actually Happy Easter instead of, you know, pumpkins or anything like that. But it's turning out just how I like it. And once again, I'm attaching things with Mod Podge. Look how cute it looks. Oh my gosh. Now we got to get my nemesis moss. Yes, moss. I don't know, moss or glitter? I guess that's going to be my question. What's the worst craft item or craft thing that you've ever worked with? Is it glitter? Is it hot glue? Is it moss? 
what's like the difficult craft piece or item that just drives you insane? Is it Mod Podge? Do you, do you always get a wrinkle when you do, you know, decoupage? Again, that's my question for today. If you're a crafter, what's the most difficult item that you've ever had to work with? For me today, it's moss because moss just ends up everywhere. Now here I'm adding these little, oh, I love these little tiny sunflowers that they had at the Dollar Tree. So I added a few little sunflowers and some other little beads and a little ribbon. And there I am, my finished little pumpkin truck for fall. So now for my next project, I had these pumpkins from last year from the Dollar Tree, of course, but I didn't necessarily like the colors. So I'm gonna change up the colors. I am using this folk art acrylic paint called Cottage White and I love it because it has a little tinge of like green. And I even mixed it with a little greener green. But um, what happened was that I didn't clean my brush properly from the previous project and it still had some black in it. So I kind of created like a green gray, which is fine. And then, you know, let's, let's just keep going. I added some orange to that gray look and I got this color which I kind of like better than that metallic orange color because I wanted it to look more natural because Lord knows when people walk into your house these plastic pumpkins are just gonna look so much more natural because I painted them right no you know but you know what I mean I just wanted it to look a little more natural and for this one I added a little gray with a little golden and uh, I kind of watered it down because I just wanted to like kind of stain it and just just give it a more like natural tones I mean you know the Dollar Tree doesn't have very natural tones to some of their pumpkins now this little crate it's a it's a uh, I think it's a CD crate that my brother Manny actually gave to me and he said let's figure out what to do with this and I said oh, okay no problem and once again graphics fairy to the rescue that's right that I love this pumpkin image my goodness how I love that image and here I am adding that pumpkin cutout from the graphics fairy to my crate because I thought you know what it should match my other little sign perfectly so there you have it Now, once I finished with the decoupage, of course, now we gotta fill it in with, guess what? That's right, more moss. Again, my question is, what's that one craft item that drives you bonkers? Glitter, moss, I don't know, what else is uh, what else is out there? That's like, ooh, like, like beads, like seed beads and stuff like that. What is it that drives you nuts? You know, or like s fake snow? for Christmas oh my gosh Christmas there's like glitter everywhere I know my friend Jane hates absolutely hates glitter so after I put a garbage or like a little bag a little plastic bag in the bottom I put the moss on top I used two different types of moss Spanish moss and reindeer moss and uh, there I am adding my little pumpkins I like the way this is coming out I didn't add too many embellishments like bows or anything I kept it kind of simple kept it kind of simple you know kind of rustic kind of thing I don't know if it's shabby chic enough or if this is farmhouse or cottage core I don't know no more I'm gonna call it cottage core yeah let's call it cottage core so there I'm just adding some more beads my fingers are all full of paint at this point and uh, yeah I think I think that's good adding some leaves but I think it came out really really cute considering that it was just something that my brother was going to throw out and uh, he brought it to me several weeks ago and I've had it in my stash so there you go a little pumpkin crate I like it <clears throat> okay I have to start with this picture you see this you see this mirror I found this mirror in my neighbor's garbage it was still in the box this is hearth and hand you know those those expensive ones just sitting there in the garbage getting wet so I salvaged it from the garbage, luckily right before this challenge. And I know this is not a trash to treasure, but whatever, I'm still using it. And I was like, how can you improve? It's perfect, it's a beautiful mirror. I didn't wanna put any kind of 
design on it that was going to stay forever. You know what I mean? Like, you know, do those rub on things or transfers. So, I decided to make a mirror swag. That's right, that's what I'm making. So with Dollar Tree leaves, and if you haven't seen these beautiful fall leaves from Dollar Tree, the way they're displayed, that oh, it's just beautiful. And I'm just taking two of them and wrapping them together. Initially, if you saw, I took that burlap, I took two pieces of burlap and put one on top of the other, as you can see there in the background. And you'll see where that comes in handy at the end. So hold on. And here I am just putting together this swag, just adding all of these Dollar Tree flowers. Now you're going to say, what is she doing? Is she just like gluing flowers to that little thin swag thing? Yes, I am. I am. I just put some hot glue and just build up on the hot glue and the hot glue kind of melts to the plastic. And what I didn't do here, which I would suggest you do, is use some wax paper or parchment paper. I'm using this, you know, I don't know what to call it. It's a piece of cardboard, so it doesn't glue to my desk. But later you'll see that I actually do use some wax paper or parchment paper so that the glue stays on the actual product. And actually you're building up on the glue so you can add more and more items. There you go. I see, I'm just like, I'm just adding little flowers. And uh, I've done this before and they pretty much last until I put these things away in the shed out in the backyard and the glue melts. Yeah, because I live in Miami, the glue melts. But for now, it's gonna look just fine. And it adds so much when you just like, just keep embellishing these simple, you know, picks from the Dollar Tree. And I probably use like $4 worth of picks, I'll be honest with you. $4 worth of like florals. Um, yeah, like four, four or so. And some leftovers that I already had. These were all, you know, stuff that I already had. I didn't have to go out and buy it because I had it already. Now, here we go again with the moss. What is it with me and the moss today? Oof. So much moss but anyway so I'm covering the centerpiece with moss because I'm gonna add some more florals and I thought it would look cool with the moss in the background which is ironic because later on you really can't see the moss when I when I put the swag up on the mirror but I know it's there I know it's there and this moss was very well behaved I have to say um, I glued it together and it stayed together I thought I was gonna have to wrap Raffia around there. Oh my gosh, Raffia. I have issues with Raffia. Is that one of your problem items for crafting? So remember, that's my question. What is one of those troublesome items that you use in crafting that you love to use but you hate it as well? Glitter, Raffia, moss, seed beads. Um, I don't know what else. What else can I think of? There you go. What about weeding? What about weeding cricket stuff? I don't know how some of you people do some of these like intricate designs and you have to weed and weed and weed. So look at, look how pretty, oh, look at that. It's coming out so nice. The swag is coming out so nice. Now I'm doing my Annie bow. Other people have names for the bows, so I'm gonna name mine my Annie bow. And all I'm doing is just gathering it, going back and forth, back and forth. Three, um, three sides, I guess, three bows on each side or three. Yeah, like that. And then I just pinch it in the middle and tie it with the wire. Yep. I'm bow challenged, but this is my easy way of making a bow. And then you just put it in, then you fluff it up. But what I did was I had bought this other wider bow at the Dollar Tree. And it's beautiful, but it's a lot less length. So what I did was I cut it in pieces and just added like the rounds or the, I don't know what do you call those things, little bow things. And then I added the final ribbon and just like, I, you know, weeded it through or I just put it through the leaves so it's not going to be on top of the mirror. So you can see your reflection, but you can see this lovely swag on top of the mirror. And now you'll see the finished products. When I was done with my swag, I, I glued it to the burlap piece that I had made earlier. And on the back of that burlap piece, I added some uh, Velcro. On the top of the mirror, I also added some Velcro. And I'll show you in just a moment how the Velcro looks on the back of the swag. And it's very easy. It's just a piece of burlap that I had glued, there you go, the Velcro to. 
Now I placed the corresponding piece of Velcro on the top of that mirror. So I haven't ruined the mirror because you're never going to see the top of that mirror and it's just a small piece of Velcro. But look at that difference. How beautiful. So now you know if you want to add some swag to your mirrors, that's the easiest way to do it without damaging them. Thanks for stopping by, but don't forget, visit the playlist so you can see all the other crafters that are part of this collaboration. And remember to listen to the questions and answer in the comments below for each creator. And remember, my question is, what's that difficult craft item that you use, but sometimes regret using in your projects? Thanks again for stopping by. Please like, share, and subscribe. And most importantly, stay safe. Be kind. God bless each and every one of you and live the adventure. See you again soon.